and it's time for a brand new line pride update we all know that leo is challenging dexter's position as the king of the pride already since months but over the past few days it got worse and he started to pick fights with each and everybody out of the pride now he's clearly showing that he wants to be in charge of the ladies and make the rules amongst them in the pride which obviously makes him look like the bad guy amongst them but he's definitely not he's not a monster and he's not a generally aggressive lion he's just doing what a lion is born to do so have fun with this update and see you guys later So that's actually a very important thing to very first say hello to the big boss and show him the respect he deserves in order to be cool with the other ladies around him. Actually you can see that all the three ladies are straight around him. And uh, if I would first walk up to the ladies So as you guys can see, if uh, you listen to their language and if you follow his rules actually, he's absolutely not aggressive and uh, he's actually sharing a lot of love right now and he's enjoying the cuddles, he's enjoying the tension he's getting and if he feels respected as the king he wants to be, he'll be fine with everything else. Nyla came walking straight up to me and actually right in between me and him but that's actually super okay now that's fine because I firstly gave him the respect and now he's cool with me hanging out with Nyla like yesterday for example he would push her around and because you know she would be more focused on me than on him he would feel very jealous about it which I can kind of relate to but it's actually super okay and cool even for him now that we are having a cuddle and saying hello to one another not like yesterday because i first gave him the respect i gave him the attention and now he knows okay i'm not about stealing nyla from him i'm just about maintaining my relationship and that makes him feel comfortable right, my girl. when i saw love 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 in your eyes I saw love, love, love in your eyes You stole my heart And I don't mind Alright, I think that was the main part and the most exciting part about this checkup uh, We've got Dexter and Snow right behind me They're busy with some leftovers And since we know as soon as the food is limited They can tend to have some aggression or competition feelings And this is why we don't want to go over there and bother them um, no matter if it will be me or one of the other lions, they will feel competitive over the leftovers because the food is limited. So I'm just going to stay here with the troublemaker and with the ladies right next to me. Enjoy my time. And then I would say see you guys later. Bye bye. Wow, that was amazing, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this update and you could learn something alongside with me about lions and their behavior. Now, if you want to be constantly up to date on what's happening amongst them in the pride, then just give me a follow and check out my stories regularly because that's where I'm updating the world. Um, and also stay tuned for the next update because it's on its way already and it gets even better. All right, guys, so today is feeding day of the cheetahs. And if you don't want to see any graphic content, then don't watch this. All right, come on guys, let's pull it into the shade. This needs to last for a while. There we go.
one very important thing for you guys to know is that I want to bring animals into your heart exactly the way they are and not the way we humans wish them to be which means feeding and eating another animal is just simply a natural part of the life of a cheetah because they are carnivores so this is why I'm not just showing you guys the cuddly scenes and the cuddly situation the loving situations but also those ones which we humans often consider as brutal all right this is actually super interesting even though they are super young they actually know already exactly where to go to and how to open up the animal if you look for example at Madiba he straight away went for the belly part which is the softest part of the animal he will be through there in a minute and then get access to all the enjoyable intestines which holds the most vitamins of all the animals. Now many people keep on asking me how is it possible that Dean can be so close with those animals whilst they are eating? Well the answer is simple in this case. When the cheetahs came to the Akunumi Park Oasis they were used to eat chicken out of bowls. So I was actually the one teaching them how to eat naturally the way they would eat in the wild. So since I taught them how to open up such an animal and consume it and enjoy it, there will always be a spot on the table, on the dining table for me as well. And now last but not least, I want to make a little quiz with you guys. Now everybody is so amazed about the beauty of the fur of a cheetah and its pattern. Now I want you guys to guess how many spots do they have in average all over their bodies. Just guess in the comments below. Everybody and welcome to the today's checkup on the Lime Pride. So here we get a completely new situation, totally chill, because Nyla was actually allowed to walk straight up to me without Leo close to her. Hello. Hello, what's up? I don't have to worry about this boy, because he's absolutely not jealous and he's not the one who's, you know, trying to be in charge of the ladies. The only one I would have to worry about is Leo, but since he allowed her to just come across the entire camp and greet me, new day, new luck, new situation. All right, my boy. All right, that's actually super cool. Look at Leo, he's just coming over. He checked up on Nyla. He made sure everything is okay. Let me give my attention to him now. Hello, my boy. What's up? You good? <coughs> you she's your girl. I know. <laughs> All right, his body language is super gentle and okay. Uh, we need to keep in mind this can switch within seconds. You can actually see how he's still making sure um, that she feels his attention and that she feels his presence. Let's rather say presence but he's super cool and I'm free to move around just the way I want. All right, and then yesterday, a lot of people have been asking me, where's Dexter, what is he doing? And is he losing his position as a king? He's actually not at the moment, even though Leo is definitely the more dominant one, but currently Dexter's all the way back there, busy with some leftovers of the wildebeests which they have been fed. Now actually Kiara and Khaleesi, the two ladies here, they just came from Dexter because he pushed them away and made clear that he wants nobody around his food. So that's why I don't want to go and uh, risk to compete with him within the food, right? Come on, Kiara. Yeah. Hmm? Didn't he, didn't he allow you to be close enough to his food? Did you get some good pieces? I guess he did. You look well fed. You have nothing to complain, do you? Hmm? Are you being the jealous girl again? Aren't you? What's your boyfriend doing there? Just make sure he's not getting jealous, okay? You guys see that now? You oh my big boy. All right, so just as we wanted to finish the checkup on the lion pride, 
uh, Leo actually showed us the, that he's absolutely not cool with Snow being so close to Nyla. He truly was jealous. He wasn't really jealous about me being close to her, but he definitely reacted to Snow. So yeah, he's respecting it. No trouble. If he wouldn't have respected it, there would have been a fight now. But yeah, I guess that's it for today. See you then.